everybody, this is Rodsky and I'm making some um, tea bag holders for stocking stuffers for my craft, craft fair coming up. Um, I was uh, cleaning out a cupboard in my laundry room. Long story short, I found a big huge box of these bank envelopes or coin envelopes. Actually, I got a big box of these and a big box of the smaller ones. But I didn't have many left of those. Anyways, I've got a ton of these left. So, I wanted to... I bought all this tea from Amazon. And I made the little folded 6x6 six six paper. And it's like, mm, kind of getting dated and just, you know. Anyways, I wanted to, like, bump it up a little bit and... I thought it'd be cute to have little bags. I don't have any little bags, so I've I thought of these guys. So what I want to do is, you know, have a pocket here, a pocket here, and then this will be a pocket. So they can get three bags instead of just one or two. So I'm kind of just figuring this part out. Um, and I plus, and I plus, I also want to do a scallop border up here, or actually, up here. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Up scallop. So I got to cut off a half an inch down here um, on here to accommodate for you know making it making sure that it'll fold up a half an inch down from there but also give me enough room to punch my doolicky, doohickey. So I've gone through some paper I gotta quit saying so. It drives me nuts when I edit. Um, kind of like when people say, and then go ahead. When they're telling how to do stuff, it's like, yeah, I know, it's the next step. Why do you gotta tell me to go ahead? I know, it's just crazy. It's a quirk. So anyways, I picked out, I have had this for years. I don't even know what year is this. Mm, wow, 2011. What year is this one? 2016. That's not so bad. But this I've had, obviously, since 2011. Eight years. Lordy, lordy. So I kind of been hoarding it because it's so cute. And I've thought, I'm doing the Babsy Barnes. If you don't use it, you don't get to buy more. So, and I've gotten to that where I haven't bought a paper pad. I bet. Now don't go looking back at my videos and call me a liar because <laughs> I did but I think it's been about a year since I bought a paper pad that doesn't count stuff that my friends have given me like Mobo and Betsy and whomever else so here's the other one this is super cute I totally want to order this one it's so cute but I've pulled a few out Ugh. cute That'd be so cute on a sweater. Like just a plain sweater. Don't want to get too busy. But isn't that pretty? Okay, so you don't need to look at that. So, then I pulled out some dyes. I might make, like this bow is not really making me too happy. But I also have a little teacup. So we'll see what we can do. Okay. Alright, so I'm first going to make a prototype. I do that with everything. So I've already made, you know, kind of like there's a template. Now I'm going to make a prototype. <clears throat> Actually, I have one here, so I will do... Oops. All right. Here's my prototype. I thought I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to cut... Uh, punch? No. I'm not going to punch it yet because i got to punch it with the paper on. That's where I left off. Okay. So I'm going to take the kind of not the best paper to make my prototype. I could just use regular paper, but why? So I wanted to cover the whole back. And so I am going to, I mean, I could, I don't even have to. I'm just going to glue the puppy right down. My allergies are horrid. 
I've been sneezing for two days. Like, not constantly, but plenty. That's weird. No pattern. We like the no pattern ones. So if I sneeze, sorry. Okay. Oops. And I don't need to cover in here. Got it out of here without hurting anybody, including, I even, when I took this out, I thought, watch me break my favorite scallop, and I, so I'm not going to even do it. Thank goodness it came out. So I went to plan B, and that was to cut it out with my scallop tie. I don't like the stitching, but it's not, see, look at that already. But it's not going to show, because this is going to be all glued down. So now, I want to... Figure out where I put this, okay. So at two and a half, we'll measure that. And I have found, don't use this end, unless you want to cut through your paper. So two and a half is Cover this. Do I want to use the same stuff? <clears throat> Do I want to cover that? I want to cover that. Yeah, I think it'd be getting way too busy otherwise. <coughs> Excuse me again. So I think. Deconstruct. I know what I, oops, oops, my avalanche is starting to fall. I think I'm going to take this and make that a pattern for the top. Okay. Then what we'll goes like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good. So that's a pattern. <clears throat> really, I should just cut this.
squeaky chair. Then, be cute to sew this. Cute. Um, I think I'm gonna doodle because you don't even get to see that scallop. And then I'll put something on here for decoration. Uh, I was thinking of the coffee or the teacup, but we shall see. Because um, I might do like a, I don't know, I don't want to do just white. But, you know, it'd have to be something that, oh, wait a second. I picked out a paper. Well, fingers here. That might work. For a little thing. And then I can stamp on it. So, or I can just put, okay, where is this stuff? So now I can have one in here, one in here, one in here. Isn't that cute? And then I'll have something sweet. Like this would be cute, the little bow. That could be really cute. I got pickup problems. You know, because I just kind of curled it. And then put like a little tag or something. That is pretty cute. All right, we'll work on that and I will be back. All right, so now we're ready to decorate. And I've got the teas. I got um, winter spice, holiday berry, and two others. I can't remember what they're called, but they're all kind of winter Christmas. One is Christmas, Christmas tea. But anyways, all right, so now we're gonna decorate. So I got on my pocket, so you have one, two, three pockets that you can use. And I found Nick Squirrel is one of my favorite um, designers on Silhouette. So she had all these little bears. They're so cute. I'm on her Instagram and, and she showed sketching them and then turning them into, she calls them little scruffy bears. So, had to get them. And... All I did, this is another um, silhouette cut. I don't remember what it is, but it's a sketch. Not really a cut. 
So it's just a sketch one. I suppose you could get um, trace and get cut lines. I didn't do that, I just cut them out by hand. And then I just punched a circle out of some coordinating paper. Just to do a little fun background. And then I punched these little snowflakes out of some of the paper also. And then that's an EK, old EK success punch. I don't know if that helps. Patent number RE38, 219. I don't know. It's just EK success. But there's a ton of snowflake punches. And then we're going to pop the bear up. These are really nice um, foam, double sided, I don't even know, super glue. Yeah, they stick. They stick. I forgot to put. How's that? All right, so then we're going to pop him onto here. Not like that because we gotta take this off. I'm just new to this crafting thing. Alright, and then glue him down. Um I have to say I okay this is I'm really cheap. I buy the school glue ones because I like this. Yoli was using them. I love this size. So they come in craft bond. But I just refill mine with um tacky glue. Cause that's I like that better than craft bun no. I got him too close. Isn't he cute? But I was using the school glue, that's what I was getting at. I glued all the rest of them with that school glue. This part and stuff and the circle. It works just fine. It gets the paper a little wet, but it dries up just fine. Nice and flat. Alright. Then we're going to add a little rhinestone. Probably a red one. This is the hardest part. Getting this thing off that plastic. There. There. Then it's time for you know what. Oh my! Oh, then we can put the tea in, and you could put um like every all the kids these days are putting little packets of sugar, honey, and a spoon. I mean, you could certainly do all that, but I'm not gonna because I don't. I want the decoration more to stand out. You know, the little bear. He's so cute. And then I need a... Um, Alright, so I forgot to bring down the tag I made, but here's the tag. I made these in my silhouette. These are those... My other... Here are these. The same tag, only I jizzed it up a little bit. So, um, the bag I'm using is... Um, one oh IHB four by six or four x six. These clear bags are so cool, and I think this really instead of just having that on the table, I think this is just going to be so much cuter um, to give as a gift. It just looks a little more kind of put together. So that's where he's going to go. He'll go in one as soon as he's nice and dry. And then, here are all of them. Love how they turned out. But then the pocket, you know, they can use it after they drink their tea. Use it for whatever. If they journal, they can put it in their journal. Or they can fill it with tea and give it to somebody else. Super cute. Look at how cute he is. And then I, that's a play on, on words, or on spelling. You know, Bear Lodge Tea, so that's kind of why 
He's looking at it like, what? Like kind of sneaky looking. Because he thinks he's going to see somebody bear. I don't know. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. But no, that is, I did want it to be like bare naked lodge tea. Just for fun. Um, here's the pattern. You fold it at, um, first you cut off, what was it, half an inch. And then you fold it at three inches. And you still have enough, you can leave it, or you still have enough room to punch, say like a scallop. And then what I did is to make all my patterns for the paper, I cut this off. I cut it off a little bit because you don't need to cover here. You know, so you're just wasting paper. So there's them. And then yeah, I did make a, you know, like this piece here. That's what this is. So I just cut it off and cut that out for a pattern. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Hey, you know what? If you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because I want you to keep coming back. We have a lot of fun. I answer as many questions as I can. There's some times where I just am totally swamped, but I know for sure, I mean, I know, you'll know for sure that I read them and I appreciate them. And um, it's a great way to, look, I forgot that one. It's a great way to meet friends and make new ones and have some fun. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, give me a like, and have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Bye.